Hi, I'm Chef Gail Sokol and welcome to my kitchen. You know, Mother's Day is coming up and I just lost my mom in November and I loved her dearly and her favorite flavor was lemon. So as my gift to my mom in her memory and to you, I want to give you a wonderful lemon cream pie recipe that's outrageously good. Made with a lemon curd filling in a sugar cookie crust and topped with lots of whipped cream. So before we get started, I want you to click that notification button because I want you to become a subscriber and I want you to see all my videos and all my tips because you will learn so much. And I love having you in my kitchen. All right. Are you ready? We're going to start our curd and we're going to stabilize it. Now, yes, if you've watched many of my videos, I've made a lot of curd recipes. Curd is a stovetop custard. We're going to make it on the stove, but this is going to be a little different. I've made curds with just egg yolks. I've made curds with whole eggs, and now we're going to use both. We're going to use three yolks and three whole eggs, and we're going to stabilize it with gelatin. So we get a nice clean slice when we cut in that beautiful pie. So the first thing I'm going to do is take one teaspoon of unflavored gelatin, and that's powdered gelatin. And you have to bloom your gelatin. You can't just put it in your ingredients like this because it will taste grainy. So I'm going to add two tablespoons of cold water. And the water needs to be cold because otherwise the gelatin will become gummy and it really needs to go into a cold liquid, any type of a cold liquid. It can be milk, it could be any part of the uh, ingredients for the recipe, but I'm going to put this in here and it's going to bloom. It's going to soften those crystals so that they're not so crunchy like sand. And we're going to put it on the side and we're going to add it into our curd. It's going to melt into our curd and then when it chills, it's going to become a nice beautifully stabilized, firmer uh, curd. All right, so I have a pot of about one inch of water boiling, and I'm going to reduce that now in a Pyrex. This is heat proof. It's got to be a heat proof bowl, and you don't want a metallic bowl. You want stainless steel will work, but sometimes people get a metallic taste when they use lemon juice or any acidic fruit in their curds, and that's because they have used a metallic bowl. So this is a non-reactive bowl. That's the key, the Pyrex. So, and it's also heat proof because we're putting it over the heat. So I have in here one cup of granulated sugar into my bowl, and right now I have three quarters of a cup of fresh lemon juice. And here they go, three eggs, whole eggs, and three egg yolks. All right, I'm just going to put those in there. And I'm going to whisk that up. Just break down your yolks a little. And I do have an, a thermometer. So I need my thermometer to go up to 160 degrees Fahrenheit. 160 degrees is the kill point of salmonella. And that's what we don't want to get from raw eggs. So we're going to cook this. And I've never made a curd using a thermometer, so there's different ways to do it. So this is just yet a different way that has been developed that I have sort of nurtured over the years and, and made. All right, so we're going to take this mixture and we're going to put it over our heat. We're going to lower it down so it's simmering, so it's not quite boiling, but it's simmering, and I'm going to stay here and then I'm going to put my thermometer in, and this is all going to get nice and thick. And no, I have not forgotten about my gelatin, but look at it. Do you see my gelatin? Look at it. Woo! Remember how liquidy it was before? Not anymore. It has gelled. It has what we call bloomed. And it is ready to be added to our liquid uh, hot liquid ingredient, which will be our curd once it's done. So I'm going to wait till this gets to 160 degrees Fahrenheit, and I'm going to check this periodically with my thermometer. It should take about 10 minutes. I'll see you back when it's thick. 
So my curd has reached 160. Remember, this is a custard, uh, and the egg yolks and eggs are thickening agents. So I'm going to take my thermometer out. I'm going to shut this off, and now I'm going to take it off the heat. It is hot. I need hot mitts. So I'm going to go get my hot mitts, because this is one hot baby. All right. And I'm going to take it off. I'm going to put it on here briefly. Now, before I, I'm going to pour it into an ice water bath, but first I'm going to add my gelatin, and because it's so hot, look how, it's like a jellyfish. So I'm going to mix that in until that is melted. This will thicken more in the refrigerator. I'm going to put it in an ice water bath through a sieve, just in case. That's my insurance, just in case. There was a little, a little uh, coagulated egg that curdled a little bit, and that happens. Half a stick of butter cut into cubes. We're going to put that in there. That's for richness and flavor. And once that is melted, that's a gorgeous lemon curd. That's going to make a fabulous filling for our lovely lemon cream pie. But because I really don't like any lumps or curdled egg, I am going to put it through the sieve into this ice water bath. Obviously, there's ice and water in the bottom bowl. The top bowl is perfectly clean. And this is what I'm going to put in the refrigerator in. All right. So once our butter is melted, you can see it looks lovely. I'm going to pour this through. All right. Oh, you're luscious. You're luscious. Put it right through our sieve. All right. Oh, yum. Save that for yourself. You can lick it. Yum, yum, yum. All right. So now we're going to put this through and just use a rubber spatula. You don't want to press on the solids if there are any. And there may be some coagulated egg. And it's quite all right. Happens all the time. All right. Happens all the time. I just got. Eh, I got a little teeny baby bit. That's it. Sometimes it gets hot, but you uh, do want to make sure that you cook this custard. Beautiful. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna get myself a new spatula. All right, I'm gonna get myself a new spatula because I don't want to touch in here and then touch in my beautiful curd because I don't want to get the lumps and bumps in there. So I'm gonna clean off the bottom so we get everybody in there. And then watch what you do. You're going to take this out of here, okay? And you're going to wipe this dry on the bottom. And our gelatin's in here. See how wiggly? It's sort of wiggly and jiggly, right? But it won't be when it chills. And then you're going to take a piece of plastic wrap, and you're going to put it directly on the custard. What? Yeah, directly on the custard because you don't want a skin to form. So put it directly on the custard, and then you're going to chill this. You can chill this up to overnight uh, and get everything ready for your pie or your tart, because this is sort of a fancy pie. This is really like a lemon cream tart, and because we're going to bake it in a false bottom tart pan. And just like that, you're going to put this in the refrigerator overnight, or you could leave this in the ice water bath to really chill out if you need it fast. See you back. So now it's time to put together our lemon cream tart. And I made a cookie tart crust. And you can see that on a video. And there'll be a link on this recipe so you can make this. This is an awesome recipe. It's in a false bottom tart pan. And you're going to leave the crust right in the tart pan. And it should be very cool. Doesn't have to be cold, but cool, not hot. We have our beautiful lemon curd, which has really thickened up because of our gelatin and those egg yolks that thickened. Now we're going to make some whipped cream because we, it's called lemon cream tart for a reason. Two cups of cold heavy cream in my electric mixer. I have one teaspoon of pure vanilla extract. And trust me, it really makes a difference. Don't leave out that vanilla. It really, really does make a difference. And I have half a cup of confectioner's sugar. I don't like granulated sugar because it can 
make the whipped cream grainy, and then your whip attachment, and then you're going to beat it up until it's nice and thick. But before you do, take a nice clean kitchen towel and put it over so you do not get powdered sugar everywhere and go warp speed till it's nice and stiff. We're going to put our lemon curd on top of our crust. And we're going to top it with our cream and put it on a beautiful serving platter. You're going to lift it up, but I like to put it together in the false bottom tart pan. And then when I'm ready to serve, I'll show you what I do. So this only takes really a few seconds. I'm going to peel off my plastic wrap and you can see it's lovely. It's lovely, nice and thick and lovely. All right, so I'm going to get that in there. Don't walk away from your whipped cream because you'll end up with butter. A little bit more. Butter, butter, that's how you make butter. You beat the heck out of whipped cream until it's past whipped cream. And then the whey comes out and the little chunks of fat come out and the little chunks of fat are the butter. The top layer of the fat of the cream is butter. All right. Oh yes. Oh yes, we are there. We are there. Okay, let me get this off. Lovely. And I always take a rubber spatula and I really beat this pretty stiff on purpose because I want this to stay luscious and light on top of my, my curd. Go around, give it a good go around. And we're going to pile it, pile is the word, we're going to pile it on top of our, our lemon curd. It's going to look lovely and delicious. So now I have this lemon curd. Break it up if it's stiff. Just break it up. It'll be fine. And then you're going to get an offset spatula, which I have over here, and you're going to spread it. So we're just going to put it now into our tart, cooled tart, cooled, beautiful cookie tart. I'm telling you, this recipe is used for cream tarts, but they're fancier than pies. It's not, uh, like I said, a pat brise, like a pie crust that you would make a fruit pie in. This is like fancier. This is a little fancier, but without all the work. So you're going to spread and smear it. Just smear it. We want it nice and thick. So you want to go all the way around. Oh, yum. Yum. And look how bright yellow that is. That's awesome. So my mother would, would have loved this. My mother would have loved this. I hope she's watching me right now making this lemon cream pie, lemon cream tart, excuse me. She would have loved this. All right. Okay. Mm. Yum. And now, ooh, tart, delicious. I'm going to grab another offset spatula, and I'm just going to dollop. We're going to just dollop, just dollop. And then we're going to cover. And if you think you have too much whipped cream, you don't because you never have too much whipped cream. You want it piled high. You want to go all the way around because whipped cream makes the world go round, baby. Yum, yum. Woo, okay. So now you take your offset spatula and just sort of put the whipped cream close to the edges and this is not any old lemon meringue pie. This is a lemon cream tart. This is so different. So different and so, so fancy. Not that lemon meringue pies are bad. They're delicious. But lemon cream, cream pie is just a different animal altogether. You know what I mean? All right. So just sort of get that 
all around. Oh, it looks so good. Oh my goodness. Oh, wow. This looks yummy. And you know, because you can't tell from the whipped cream what's under it, you can't tell it's lemon cream tart, we have to add a little accoutrement on the outside. So what I like to do is candy some lemon slices. And I do have a video on candied lemon peel, but if you would like to see this video, and I'll show you what they look like in a second, let me know and I can do a video because I always like to do and take requests from what you guys would like. Okay, so let me know. It's a very easy recipe. Okay, so I have my, my lemon slices, okay, and I candied them, and I'm just going to just put them around any which way, all right? Just make them look pretty. Any way you want to do it, but this is amazing because this is going to tell people this is not your typical your typical tart this is like an amazing animal that you will want to eat you will want to make and this would make an incredible mother's day mother's day dessert for your moms i know my mom would have loved it my mom would have loved it so from me to you, this is from my mom to my mom, and I wish she could be here to eat it. Now I'm going to show you how to take it out. So I'm going to get a pretty platter. You can get a footed platter, whatever you want to do. And let me go grab a can of beans. Can of beans. So what you're going to do is you can let this just chill like it is, but I'm going to go like this. <gasps> Isn't that amazing? It's awesome. And then you can leave it on the bottom if you wish and just put it on your platter. And it is delightful. Just slide it on. And there you have it. Your beautiful, beautiful lemon cream tart for Mother's Day or any day. So I'm hoping that you make this. I'm hoping that you share what my mom and, my mom and I used to love together. So I hope you become a subscriber, and I hope you make this for Mother's Day or any day. Take care.